Hey guys, Kyle here today with another YouTube video, and uh, this video is uh, just we're gonna play for marks, and just uh, being able to consistently think about how we're gonna get four marks, which is very important on Kindred. And we're playing in this kind of like silver, but it plays in high gold, platinum now I think. Like the MR is pretty cracked, I'm pretty sure. So, oh, yeah, I'll show it on the screen right now. And so I'm playing Kindred with PTA. Uh, I'm going to be playing only PTA Kindred for the next couple of days because I think crit is dead next splits uh, until maybe they buff it. Maybe it's not dead but I'm pretty sure it is dead and so I'm probably playing on hit Kindred uh, way more uh, next splits so I'm going to have some fun, play some crit uh, especially on stream. This video is uploaded. I'll probably be streaming so you can come check it out. It's Kyle Jungle on Twitch TV. And so uh, yeah we have the standard PTA page. PTA, Triumph, Alacrity, and Kudu. And I like taking Domination Secondary because I want to have 2 1 boots for the early game so I can run around and potentially find kills. So that's just my preference. I take Eyeball and Treasure Hunter because with crit, you need a lot of money. Treasure Hunter, Treasure Hunter gives you a decent amount of money when you're getting PP. So I like it a lot over like Relentless Hunter. So here, I'm pretty sure I misswid. I think it's like a smutted. Uh, I should have just killed this wall. I don't know why I did the crooks here, but for sure, like nine out of ten times, if we're not gonna do, if we're gonna go for his kill. You should just not do your crook camp and just go get the free kill on uh, volley bear. Honestly, I thought this guy would have greed base in middle bush, but he's actually like kind of piss surfing. I mean, he just decided to go to third bush. He's very safe with it. Um, don't know if it was an intentional by him or like maybe that ward on me. I I don't know. But uh, yeah, I ended up wasting a lot of time here. So what the enemy generally can do in this spot is he can play a potential for my bot side. Um, he probably just finishes three camp, uh, start bot side, so he can potentially just go take my blue and maybe cheese me on my blue. It's, it's very hard for me to really fight back uh, down XP, especially that I didn't clear all the Krogs. I'm not hitting three off this Raptor camp. I need another camp after this. But again, like we're playing, we're going to think about the marks. So like, I mean, of course, if we're zero marks. I don't want to be on the crab, literally on the crab. So hopefully we get the crab RNG on our side. Maybe I'll do a game in the future where uh, the crab, I don't win the crab RNG and I actually have to work for my mark, my first mark. It's very important because when you get the first mark, uh, then on afterwards, like you can start playing for camp respawns and like playing for the Raptor camp and Gromps, but you can't really do that if you're at zero marks. I feel like just keep playing for the crab, and luckily we hit the first crab. And Udyr's clear, he has dull buffs, and he's full CS. So in my head, we probably did red, blue, gromp here. That's the only path, so there's no way he did Raptors, and that's why I'm striking it. And one thing you can do here is that you can actually just leave this Raptor camp up, and potentially play for a mark on it. Uh, and you can go tap the croaks, but... He should be coming to his bot side uh, by the time this marks, in my opinion. So I won't be able to get the mark. And I do win in a 1v1, but if like if people move, maybe it might go be sauce. If you want, you can leave it up and play for the like the mark. Because it should mark the Raptor camp like pretty much 100%. Because we think, well, I think that he's buff buff Gromp. And. Yeah, you, you can play for it. Or you can just take it. Oh yeah, for some reason ground, ground marks. So now we know we did buffles, buff. But yeah, so taking is not bad either because now you know the respawn. So you can play for the respawn uh, of the mark. So you'll be guaranteed like two marks if you are stronger on the respawn, which I should be. So because I'll have like a very big XP advantage on him. So I'm clearing my respawn here and I'll have like probably a full level on him. I'll be level 5, he'll be level 4, probably, at the Raptor. At the Raptor can't respawn. Yeah, here I'm just going down. I have full conditions, and I see the tops fighting. Try to see if I can salvage the play. And the Grump still hasn't been taken, so I don't know if this guy based after this top side play, or... Yeah, not sure. It's just warded. I guess Volibear is just trolling. So I have to walk back up. Here, make sure you walk out with Volibri. It's like legit all his damage. PTA, we have to push in this wave. It's a very bad wave state for the Olaf. 
caught up just in case Uyu comes to stop stream because I have no idea where he is. He hasn't shown anywhere. Like, if anything, I think this guy DC'd for like 30 seconds, which is like kind of awkward for the YouTube video, but I mean, like, it is what it is. It is what it is. And here, I think uh, I just accepted the fact that, like, I'm just gonna die for this mark. I don't know what's going on with their team, but. Yeah. Mod rolls onto me, and yeah, I'm just dead. And it is what it is. I mean, like, two marks, so it's like completely chill. And now I'm thinking about where my next mark will be. And I know it will be on this crab, most likely, or the next raptor spawn. So here, I like ping the crab, I think, creature in the second, and I start running to it. I do have my raptor camp up, my red up, but to me, I'd rather just go check if I can get this crab, maybe play to invade these raptors, and then I can exit like my all my camps. But I wanted to try to fight here because I'm still like strong in here. I should have a level on him still. I go here, check if he's on Drake, because you know low loopers love doing your dragon. And I fight the eater, then I realize really so that Zareth uh is here, but he didn't have mana to throw his E initially, so I was pretty confident in taking the fights and I end up living. Very close fights. Got double kill. Very big. And now we're at three marks and we're about to go to this router mark. And in the past, you weren't you weren't able to play for the mark because the death timers are very short. But because of the changes they did uh two patches ago, very recall. Um you actually have enough time to steal camps as the jungler after you make a good play. And now we're at four marks and we have made it out. We are guaranteed four marks. And yes, we got a bit lucky on the first crab spawn, but like the first mark is like the most important mark, in my opinion, because that's what will set in tone, like the invading thing for Raptor respawns, Gromp respawns, because you are a very good skirmishing champion. That's like the best way to play for marks, especially when you're in lower MMR. You should learn to build like that skill sets and playing for your enemy camp respawns and tracking drone camps. And it can, you can transfer over to any jungler also, so like it's just a really good skill to have. Yeah, I don't know what this Orion is doing, but uh, yeah, I just gotta like, click into our base. So, kill, I'm trying to get the kill because I wanted it. And here, uh, I knew my the next mark was gonna be either his top side. Uh, I thought it was gonna be his, his blue because his blue is respawning, or like I thought it was clear was that he's gonna go back his red, his red, he's gonna take the red, and then the next mark will be on his top side. But for some reason this guy didn't take Krogs. Like this guy's just not clearing camps as the rear, so like you just know like he's, he doesn't always play his champion. But so we just gotta stop respawn, which is completely really fine. We've already like got the marks we wanted. So now we just need to play for Kraken and then we start taking over the map. That's the next goal. Our next game plan or next step in our game plan I guess. Now we're walking out to the map. Fight take our red. Look to fight. The next mark will most likely be his next Krug respawn, which will be up in a minute and a half or so, because he just took his Krug camp from Diego. So we now we know our next mark. But right now, because we already have the four marks that we needed, uh, or five, like we just look for blood, look for champions to kill. We're very strong on this timer. We have Kraken. So here I should have just fought this guy, but I didn't know there was like 10 bodies behind him. But maybe I should have played the line. I do have ult. Missed on a free kill actually. And uh, oh, top one. That's not bad. And we're playing the cross here. I mean, we already, there's like no camps up, and we're, we know we want to play the respawn. So we're looking just to skirmish to find like any type of play, which is good for us. We were able to kill the Zerath, and now we're gonna play to kill the Jin. I still killed my map, which is completely fine. I mean, we will kill this guy. Me and Poppy run the map right now. We're really strong in the Uder Zerath. Sometimes in solo queue, when you have stronger like jungle supports, like if you guys link together, you guys will just run the map. And here, I think I played it fake that I'm walking like away. I think there's a war in try, and then I just played the cheese, the Jin that will be coming out soon. I did mark him, so. 
I mean, I guess uh, Zerath is free food. Let's go Zerath. Grandfully dodges E. And, like, we're just gonna kill Jin now. We're just gonna wait here and wait for Jin. Flip the mark. Remember how he said, Krogs will be next mark. There's no way Wolves will be up, so. There's no buffs respawning. And, oh yeah, I, I don't know, this guy sneaked past my ward. I guess, like, he, like, it's barely out of the, like, pocket range. Kills the Earth again, like, this guy is just trolling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just... Spawn killing things. A bunch just pushed their wave here. Don't know what, what my MF is doing. Kind of confused. I feel like ping on double than you usually should because like lower pillars are like literally, literally confused. Jin, you get another mark. And this way you just do on Kindred, you just keep doing this. Keep trying to kill champions over and over. You want a lot of money when you play crits. I mean, you can do the same even when you're not crits. Like, this is what you can do on Kindred. You're very hood. So I like how you players hate playing against your champion because the better you are at playing tempo and the more like ever like if their whole enemy comp is very good as strong like very strong at playing in tempo like high tempo with the kindred like it's very hard to breathe in the game. Okay, another Drake, so we have a win condition uh, later on. Two Drakes, very strong. Probably like just play the base after the Drake and the Crab. We have 2.3k gold, even though our camps are up. You can get Merc Treads and get a BF Sword. Hopefully, you find kills again on the map. There are buffs respawning, so you know, that's our next Mark Avenue. Like, we're just gonna keep playing for Marks. Very fat base, for trinket pinks. Like, we have the best like uh, setup to get control of the enemy jungle. I mean, I, I mean we're just sprinting there straight up. I end up running to the red because the red marked, uh, spawn sooner than uh, expected. And because he was just topside, I mean, he died. He was like, just shot, he's, he's just dead. He's about two seconds ago. I mean, we still can play for the red. And walk like this. We should know, like, he's coming soon. So I'm just gonna tap him and bring him to the bush. I mean, you can't face check me, like, we just win. Drink the red. Dodge the Zarathy. That's lucky he lives. I guess I didn't notice uh, that was Oriana like, hitting me. Uh, my eyes just don't work right now, I guess. But we should have ulted there and then we kept playing for the fights. I mean, still really, really good play. I mean, we got gold and we got mark, so still winning. Uh, it's like a fine death. Of course, you can like play it better, but it is what it is. Random and what you want to do usually you want to mark like the enter usually um in mid game so like their biggest I mean they're all like kind of all like four of them are inting but their biggest enter is Zara and then Zubir and then it's like 50 50 between Jin and Boy that's like their priority in terms of inting like if you just look at how they play in the game and it's just like how much they're trolling like you can just tell like who's like griefer sometimes like you might not have griefers and that's like when Kindred feels hard to play you know you actually have to play like team foot swell and like Hope you come out on top in the team foots. But these type of games are like the lot more a lot more on the easier side because like you just have like an easy target to go for. Kill another guy. Interesting flash for me, not a lie, but uh let's show. It's a Roma game, no cope. So, uh, it's camps again. I can probably just play Take Herald and Beast because we have Collector World, it's 900 um, completion. We have BF Sword and Dirk. So, after this, we're just gonna use the Herald Recall Beast quickly. Get back on the map. And now, every neutral objective will be on Mark. So, you want to play for every Drake. 
and I guess Baron is another more. But yeah, pretty much that's what it is. Now the base. You have Collector, 900 golds. And here, the most flexible item you can buy here will always be a dagger, in my opinion. Like, sword is not bad too, but to me, dagger is very good because I like sitting on Zeal quite often. And uh, you can also buy, like, Strobe Lost Whisper on Sword too. So. I mean, they're both pretty flexible, but dagger is usually like cheaper. You can buy dagger plus pink. I mean, as long as you're able to get pink, even though I didn't buy one, I, I could have waited 20 cents for it. Um, it's probably like your best goal because you're trying to play for control, so you want to deny vision and control a bush with the pink. That's why pinks are actually OP. They're better at the game. Assassins also teach you how to buy pinks because you need them a lot to deny vision, so you can control certain areas and then find picks. So you have like the absolute information. Now we're just like here. We're quite, we're not dropping hurl yet because uh, I feel like I don't need to. He's here at the burning, so I'm like, okay, this guy's just hinting. And like, yeah, he's just dead. Yeah, chase Udyr here. here. Plant, you get vision. I will really get vision plus to get movement speed. When you hit it. And here, uh, yeah, I queued into him like an inter, but I thought in my mind I'm gonna one shot him, and then I was like so confused, like how do you not just like strip die? And then I realized his items, so I'm like, oh, frozen heart, tab eye, chain vest. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, but yeah, you should play with range. Uh, I queued in like an idiot, but I, I literally thought like he would just die. The guy is low. Like if I get the e proc, usually you get the e proc plus PTA, like he should just die. Uh, maybe if I had Emax though, maybe he would have died though. I had, like autopilot max W. So I'm not sure. Um if Emax was like help me get that kill. Because I would have four points in it, right? Really hard to say. For sure. And we're playing for Drake now. Towards it. Another mark, I mean, we already like talk about the basis of this video. Like, we're just playing for more, four marks, which is the most important on Kindred. Every other mark after that will just allow you to help you like carry the game harder. If you want seven marks, ideally, like 600 range is quite a lot. It goes a lot. You need more than that, I mean, like, you should be like stomping the game usually. The game is like never usually that close when you're like 10 marks, kind of like just noob stomping. This guy would have died to Wolf even if I didn't go for him. And we're trying to use this Herald. I think the game ends soon, actually. I mean, if you guys enjoyed this video, like, let me know down in the comments below. And the uh, Kindred 101 video, I'm um, working on it. And it should release uh, right before Split 3 starts. So, you guys can use that video to climb in Split 3. And I'll do an updated build just to let you know like, what will you like building on Kindred. For the next split, so you have everything you need uh, for Kindred. I'll be doing the same for Kha'Zix and Graves and like, other champions, but I'm always going to prioritize Kindred um, Kha'Zix because those are my main champs. So yeah, that's like what I'm going to do in the future, but thanks for watching guys and hope to see you guys uh, in the next videos.